Hi everybody, welcome back to another Steam Deck video and in this one I'm going to be showing you how to get Armour 3 working with Steam Workshop mods, sort of. Okay, so at the moment, January 2024, Armour 3 does not have official Steam Workshop support from SteamOS as uh, DayZ doesn't either. So this is a bit of a workaround and it's kind of really for, I would say, Armour 3 fans only because you've got to do a little bit of jiggery pokery and actually probably the, the the easiest answer, the easiest way to do this is actually to have a second Steam account upon which you just have Armour 3 with some very basic mods indeed. The, the Basically the problem that Armour 3 has and that DayZ has is that when you fire them up on PC, you have a launcher and that launcher handles all the mods so it downloads them updates and that, that sort of thing but with steam os that the steam deck has running on it that that goes wrong and basically it doesn't know where to look and it can't update them properly and one of the biggest problems despite all that even if it did work is the sheer size of armor 3 and daisy mods so i've got 150 gigabytes worth of armor 3 mods that are normally sitting on my pc do I really want all of them to download to my Steam Deck? I don't know. Same with DayZ. If you've got plenty of the big map mods, they can be very can be very large indeed. So even when they do have official uh, workshop support, will we really want to have this? So anyway, let us let me show you how you kind of get it working anyway. So first things first, we're going to want to go into uh, desktop mode. So I'm just working with a wireless keyboard and mouse here. Obviously, you would press the Steam key down there and then you would go to power. And then you would go to switch to desktop and then this will uh, switch over now so i'm actually not in my normal steam account for this one i'm in my alternative steam account and that steam account basically only has a couple of games on it. it has daisy and it has the basic version of armor 3 um, and i use this when i want to make videos um, so i can have characters running around on um, servers that i can control but it comes in handy with this. So let me kind of, I'll show you the kind of the, the problem that we have. So if we go into Dolphin, the file manager, um, and I have Armour 3 installed on my Steam Deck um, SD card. Um, and some of these file names will be familiar to you if you work with Windows, but obviously with Linux, so things are a little bit different. So we go to Steam Apps, and then we go into Common. There's Armour 3, as you'd expect it to be. And there's the Workshop folder. So normally when you go into the Workshop folder, there's all of your mods um, and it's shortcuts to all of your mods. But as you can see, they're not here. It's not working properly. Where they actually are, if we go back to Steam Deck and then go to Steam Apps and then go into Workshop here and go into Content. Now, 107410, that's the code for Armour 3. Um, and this is where they would actually be on your PC as well. It's just that the... Um, that, that you get the, uh, the the mod shortcuts all point to this particular place. If we go into it now, I've only got one mod <laughs> on this one because I want this to work. And if there's lots of mods, it doesn't always work. And that happens to be the simple single player cheat menu mod, and that, that's what that one is. So that's the essence of what the problem is. So if we shut this down, and so if we fire up um, the desktop version of Steam, and then we go into my library. And then we go into Armour 3. First thing, we just want to have a look at the properties. Now, if you're coming from this, from the point of just getting Armour 3 working on your Steam Deck, what you want to do is in Launch Options, really you want to have Dash, um, probably first actually, you want to have Dash, No Launcher, like that. And that means that when you, when you fire up Armour 3, it won't fire up the launcher. So it bypasses that, goes straight into the game. Doesn't load any mods. Um, and then if you want to load um, <coughs> DLC, um, you put things like you put mod equals uh, Vietnam for uh, uh, Prairie Fire. What I'll do is in the description below this video, I'll put a link to the video I've done about how to install Armour 3, well, how to play Armour 3 on Steam Deck, where I go into all that and the different things. But but in essence, we have no launcher. Now, in this case, we want the launcher to, to load, so I'm just going to kind of get rid of that. And hopefully, while I'm doing this, you see how, when you're doing stuff like that, it's, this it's really good to have um, the, uh, the, the keyboard and mouse plugged in. Okay, so that's good. So we've just got no splash. So when we hit play, 
it should with a bit of luck fire up now if you're using your main account and you have got dozens if not hundreds of mods um, this um, might not work it might crash it might go slow so this is why I kind of say it, it's this could be a solution really for, for people who are a big armor fan because what you may well want to do is wait until the next steam sale buy yourself uh, oops open up a second uh, steam account buy excuse me buy yourself a copy of uh, armor three when it's in the sale and with the dlc that you want and then you can use it so for example if you go into dlc you should be able to see if it oh yes it's struggling a little bit oh there we go but you see i don't own any of the dlc in this particular account then if we go into mods there's only the simple sim simple single player cheat menu and then normally you'd see lots of other ones if you've got lots of mods, though, this may well stall at this point. And what it will say is that this isn't installed, so we can't use it. So what we need to do is, if we go into Options at the top, and we go into Launcher Options, and then we go into Mods Options here, it will say, okay, um, Watched Folders. Select folders that contain Armour 3 mods. Launcher will automatically detect the mods in these folders and include them in the Mods page. Recently added mods will be marked with the auto-included uh, auto label. So what we can do is we can say add custom folder and then the, this might be a little bit difficult to see if you're looking at this on a phone so might make it big size but basically we've gone into a uh, file browser so we can just click on and then sometimes it's not completely obvious which file is which but i think e is the uh, sd card steam apps let's just go into common yeah there we are there's armor 3 so we know we're in the right one so we just need to go into workshop and then we go into content and 107410 so that's if we I mean, we can go into it and that will be the actual mod itself so we can just click on there so this is the folder that we want the launcher to keep an eye on so if we click open on that see now at the bottom it says mod simple single player cheat menu was installed so if we go back to mods now we should see that this is there so we can tick on that and now simple single player cheat menu mod is going to be loaded up when i load it into the game so now I can hit, click play. Now, if you've been following this along and trying to do it on your Steam Deck at the same time, again, <coughs> excuse me, if you've got lots of mods, you may well find that didn't work. It may well have crashed. All sorts of things uh, may well have happened. And unfortunately, I think it's just the fact that you've got all these hundreds of files that the launcher is trying to download and it's not quite sure where to put them and it's not sure what to do with the references and all this sort of stuff. And, you know, and it, and it just doesn't work. So... Again, I know I've said it before, but perhaps if you're a big armor fan and you want to take your Steam Deck, for example, to work and play with it at lunchtime, and you're going to take a you know a wireless keyboard and mouse with you so, you so you can get the most out of it, and it does, as you'll see in a minute, it runs very very well indeed. Um, consider having that second account with a simple version of Armor Three, where you only subscribe to a minimum number of you know the basic number of mods. You know, I'm you know I'm talking about things like. Um, you would just say, say you bought the Prairie Fire DLC, you'd have, say, SOG AI, but you would ignore lots and lots. Anything that's, you know, hundreds of megabytes, you would just be ignoring that. Save that for when you're at home on your main PC. So if now, for example, we go into Showcases um, and go into Infantry, you should get an idea. I'll show you how we can load up. So if you just say Continue... And anybody who's played Armour 3, you'll know this infantry showcase is a nightmare to play. If you're watching this as well and you're a DayZ fan, you can do the same thing with DayZ as well. Um, there we go, so we've loaded in. So if I just press M to bring the map up, I've got the top, I've got load, simple single player cheat menu. Click it, it loads it up. So we can go to cheats, we can go to infinite ammo. Enable, Invincibility, Enabled, Virtual Garage, let's open that up, let's give ourselves a, what should we have, Tank, there we go, I know how to get into it. Hello. 
How do we get into a slammer? Well, if I knew how to get into the tank, I would do. <laughs> but I don't know. And then we can run along and... I don't need to worry about dying. In fact, I could have turned on infinite um, sta uh, infinite stamina as well, can I? So, as you can see, I'm not using any bullets. Crap, we go full also. Run into the fray to help my buddies. This is running very, it runs very, very nicely indeed. Now, I know there aren't hundreds of AI or other players. In this particular example but hopefully it kind of shows you that if you are a big armor fan and you're thinking oh i wouldn't mind having a portable way of playing armor at, you know lunch break or at other times um this could be very cool indeed in fact what we could do if we have map cheats spawning jet there we go we are now a combat air support jet. I know, bro, I still need support. Oh, we're going to crash. Okay, so we crashed and died. Oh no, I'm invincible, you see. <laughs> so I didn't die. Although I've probably crashed the game now because uh, because of what we've done. So let's uh, save and exit from that. So there we go. That is how you get Armour 3 working with mods on your Steam Deck. It's not ideal. Um, hopefully within a reasonable amount of time we'll get official Steam Workshop support for armor three so that you don't have to do this um but until then maybe the best option is create a secondary a steam account have a copy of armor three on there with just like one or two very simple mods for for playing like you know the simple multiplayer um um and the simple um uh missions that sort of thing um and uh, and you'll be good to go anyway hopefully this has been helpful if it has hit like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and of course i'll see you again soon